What's up guys? Welcome back. It's been a while. The car has been parked for a bit. I was working on uh, this Mark III for a couple weeks till I was waiting for some parts. But that's done. 2JZ swap with a T56. But you're probably here to see that, that what's in that box. So we finally got the block back. It's got rebuilt, new sleeves, new pistons, new rods, and uh, it's time to put it all together. So we're gonna break this video and we're gonna break this series into a few videos. Uh, this one's gonna be about assembling it together. Um, we're gonna put the head on it. We're gonna try to put the new pan on it. So let's get to it. So yeah, so this is kind of how I ship the block back and forth. So uh, I get this block done at Aero Machine in Texas. Their uh, Scott there is awesome. If uh, if you need anything, uh, any any engines built, especially two JZs, uh, they specialize in this billet stuff. Um, so uh, I sent it there last year right after the season because we cracked the sleeve and we damaged some pistons in the process. So. We got it rebuilt, we got new pistons, new rods, new bearings, uh, new sleeves, new fire rings, new copper head gasket. So it's been basically completely redone. Um, it's got a new set of pistons, they're Ross pistons. Um, so there it is. Uh, came here just in time for uh, the season. The car is basically done. We finished all the wiring, I finished you know, all the, the chassis work. They put the drive shaft in yesterday. Thank you to drive shaft chop. The drive shaft is in. So the head is over there. Cams are over there. So we got everything they got going. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it out of the box and we'll put it on the stand. And then uh, I'm gonna spray the, the gasket with some copper spray. I use copper spray on the gasket so i use this to spray it on the copper gasket copper gaskets are known for not perfectly sealing even though this is a a dry deck so there's no water that travels from the head to the block but there's an oil passage uh, over here that's an oil feed uh we want to make sure that's sealed properly um yeah, so let's take it off there, put it on the stand, and let's get to it. So, got the pan on. I swapped that pan over to this one. So just a comparison here. Let me see if I can uh, grab this thing and place it here. So this here is the Gen 2, I guess, that Magnus had. It's a two-piece pan. And uh, it was kind of, the, the middle piece was nice because interchangeable, removable. But he swapped over to this, this is the uh, third generation. It's about half the weight of the other pan. That's kind of what interested me. I mean, this pan is not very heavy, but I mean, probably five pounds savings, five to seven pounds, why not? I mean, you're, you don't have those middle bolts there. So it's like a one piece, right? It's much, uh, it's hard for me to, compare the two but uh, I'll try to put it here it's much lower see it's a little slimmer and uh, it has provisions to have a baffle inside I already put it on I would have showed you how the baffle looks like but uh, unfortunately I, I forgot and I sealed it so it's much slimmer it's much lighter so why not so we'll have this pan as a spare just in case one day we got a spare billet block so pan is on i was redoing kind of the lines because the fittings sit in a slightly different position so i had to cut some lines ignore the ugly fittings i'm going to change all these hoses to uh i want to change the hoses to crimped hose uh, either bmrs like the fuel hoses that i have but uh the budget doesn't allow this year so it's the same thing i said last year it's about a thousand bucks in holes, just these couple of hoses here. So not this year. This will do. So these are the scavenge filters. 
So you got one stage coming over here and what I do is I tee the turbo drain off one stage and that always worked perfect for me. Um, some guys they run the drain into the pan and I find that you need some suction when you have you know 70 pounds of boost on top of the crankcase pressure builds up. So we got two in the back. I got one in the middle. And uh, we got one here that's going to come from the valve covers. This is kind of what I'm changing this year. This is a little different. So I'm going to have the side vent from the block that's going to go to the tank. This is going to be a dash 16. I'm going to have to change this a 20. And these two are going to come from the valve covers. And they're going to have their own stage. That's why they don't have uh, a scavenge filter because obviously it's coming from the top. Uh, the scavenge filter actually really helped because when I hurt the motor, um, no no debris went into the 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 uh, oil pump, and this oil pump is very expensive, so you want to save that pump. I put the damper on, so this is a a newer damper that we're we're gonna try out from in a, in a, Innovators West. Uh, the new damper has uh, some wet clutches inside versus ATI's O-rings. We were experiencing uh, O-ring failure in the past. I'll show you the picture here. You'll have the O-rings on the ATI. They would kind of eat themselves. It always worked, but we're going to try this. I kind of follow what my engine builder suggests, and uh, we'll see how this goes. And let's, let's try to toss the engine in. I'll try to get some footage. But I'm gonna be by myself, so I'll try to put the engine in, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it looks. So morning after. Sorry guys, I didn't get much footage last night. I was kind of by myself. I couldn't really hold the camera. I was just I don't know. I, I gotta find better ways to record myself doing work. It's just I struggle to. I get so hung into the stuff when I'm working that I just forget the camera. Anyway, um, engine is in. As you can see, the head is just sitting there, even the manifold, because I don't have my head studs. The head studs will be here on Monday. They didn't come with the engine. So I'm kind of happy everything fits. I was worried that the, uh, the intake's going to touch the new firewall. And man, that's close. <laughs> I don't think there's a millimeter there gap. So it kind of works out I'm kind of happy that everything fits I was worried about the damper hitting the tank because this damper sticks out quite a lot even the engine uh, it's moved forward um, a couple of things I mean the firewalls new the cage connects to the engine right uh, the mid plate is connected to the cage so th that whole setup there it's changed uh, it still has to go down a little bit. It's not really in place. So if you look here, there's a bit of a gap and I know why um, The transmission here. I didn't loosen the mount So that's touching there and also here The original locations uh, are changed. So what we did is we tilted the engine uh, Down in the front and up in the back just because the car sits so low now that we wanted the drive shaft to aim kind of upwards a little bit so uh, I just put the old the old location. I'm gonna have to move this down. I think I'll make a spacer here just to fill the gap, or redo these and reweld them. I don't know yet. Um, but everything fits. I'm kind of happy. There's quite a bit of room here. I think we might have to redo this intercooler pipe. I think is gonna hit the tank. Uh, the new oil tank fits. Kind of clears. So this would be coming from the return from the sump. This is going to come from the, uh, the the side fitting on the block. Beautiful head games head, head games race port that's been all refreshed. We got new buckets for it. We got uh, the cams, got some coating, but we'll leave that for the next video. But I think it looks awesome. It's kind of nice to see it back in there. Holy shit. What do you think of the red? I think the red looks pretty good. I mean, I, I was debating putting another color in the bay, but I, I, I love red, man. I think it looks great. So we'll stop this video here. And uh, we'll stop this video here. And the next video would be assembling the head. 
I don't know, we'll run some fuel lines, maybe we'll start up. But I think that's it for now. In the next video, I'll show you guys kind of the e how easy it is to mount all this engine here and transmission. Everything's wide open, right? But we'll leave that for the next video. So for now, subscribe, give us a like, give me some courage to keep making these videos. I feel like I'm not making as many anymore. I don't get that many views. So give us a like, give us a subscribe, leave a comment what you want to see. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Take care.